is NTV, we are live from Kampala Swede Conference Center. I'm Andrew Chiamagiru. Now, the government of Uganda, through the judiciary, has allocated funds towards the design, development, and deployment of an electronic court case management system um, with an aim of automating the entire process flow of a case from filing to archival to improve its efficiency and effectiveness in the delivery of services to the citizens of Uganda. With this system, automation and tracking all aspects of a case life cycle from the initial filing to the di dispositions, uh, there is easy access to justice, easy access to information on cases, quick payment of court fees and fines. Now joining us to understand more of this is the Permanent Secretary uh, to the Judiciary and um, Ms. Uh, Julian uh, Renju, a technical advisor. The Permanent Secretary is here with us, uh, Mr. Pius Bidijmana. Good to have you this afternoon. Thank you so much, and good evening, uh, viewers. Okay. Uh, to start with, um, uh, Mr. Rijimana, what is this ECCMS, MIS? In full, mm. ECCMIS mm -hmm. is Electronic Court Case mm -hmm. Management Information System. Okay. This is a system mm. that is IT-based. Mm -hmm. As you have rightly put it, mm. it, it tracks by the time of filing a case to the time of disp disposition mm. and even appeal. So throughout the whole process, mm. the beneficiaries will be tracking mm. how their cases are. Notification mm. to know which judge is doing what, mm -hmm. to know where the case has reached. All of this is going to be online. Okay. People will be filing, paying fees online. Okay. This business of going to court, mm. carrying files, <laughs> must stop. Okay. Because if, if we do that, mm. then we will use uh, human to human contact. Okay. And you know that has been the basis where people have been uh, extorting money <coughs> yes. from the clients. At the court premises and all. Yeah, so we mm. think that uh, this is system is going to really liberate our people. Okay. Um, that sounds exciting, and especially when it, when it goes to the, the, the absence of human interaction, because that's where the biggest money was actually going. But that said, um, y it comes on the, f on the heels of you just joining the, the, the Ministry of Justice. Um, I don't know. Uh, when you got there, COVID-19 got in play. I want to understand, Mr. Bijimana, when you reached there and COVID got in play, was it the moment where you said, okay, now we need to go E? We go online and we have these start to run. Did COVID trigger this? I must first of all make a correction. Mm. It's not the Ministry of Judiciary. Mm. The Justice. Uh, no, 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 mm. no, no, please. There are three arms of government. Mm. We have got the executive, yes. where the ministry is wrong. Mm. We have got parliament, which legislates. Yes. And we have got the judiciary, mm. which adjudicates. Yes. It's the custodian and mm. the interpreter of laws. In the country. So it is not part of the executive. Mm. So I thought I should make that correction. <laughs> okay. And also to correct mm. that much as I'm appointed permanent mm. secretary, mm. I am in the judiciary as secretary to the judiciary. Okay. So I'm there, I posting as secretary of judiciary okay. and, the, and the accounting officer. Mm. Having made that correction, I want to inform you that uh, I am not the one who started it as such. Oh. I found when the borrow was uh, moving, okay. I just only hit the ground running mm. to have the contract signed. So I signed the contract mm. and we started. That was 16 September uh, 2019. Okay. You recall I reported on, uh, say, 1st of August, yes. Yes. because it was the end of, it was the end of uh, July. Yes. And it was a weekend, I handed over on a Sunday, yes. and the man I reported. So that week that started is mm. when I, I, I reported for officially. Mm. And I found this uh, procurement was ongoing. Okay. It had not been concluded, mm. but I had reached the, the, the end, mm. I would say. There are a few things to do with the terms of payment, terms and conditions of implementation. Mm. Those are the ones that, that I participated in to finalize. Mm. Then I went ahead and signed the contract. Mm. So COVID came in after we had started because we signed the contract in, 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 in September. September. Yes. COVID was just this year. Yeah. So actually COVID came in 
and has now for me it uh, found you ready <laughs> there is some good positive side of covid uh -huh. because it has helped me to tell people that we are not returning we're not going backwards we oh, must yeah. go forward with this uh, system the change is sent yeah well julian to, to to engage you on this what are some of the benefits or what could be before we even go to the benefits how do i become a part of it me as a ugandan the inclusion how do i use this system uh, because it could be a little bit technical for me when i hear that everything is going to go e and i'm always used being in court my lord my lord and now here i am i'm just following the case on mail so how do i get involved we we have made sure that uh, uh, this system is citizen facing okay um like uh, pay said mm. the ICT in judiciary mm. has just not started. It has been there. There was a strategy in, mm. in that direction. Mm. And there were a couple of things that have been done in mm. there, the video conferencing and so on. It's mm. just that the epidemic on COVID oh, yeah. accelerated the, 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 the whole the aspect. Mm. This system is going to be so easy for anybody mm. to file a case from the comfort of their homes, mm. wherever they are. Okay. They should be able to file a case. Mm. And with that, they should be able to track their progress of the case. Mm. We want to move away from uh, a, a point where people have to walk to office, people Paper have trail. to run. Mm. I'm about to, to hit uh, 5 p.m. Yeah. Oh, God, close, uh, case, um, the courts will be the, closed. The, yeah. Here, there is no, it's a 24-hour service. Okay. Where I'll file wherever I am and uh, be able to to register my case. Mm. And the system is so flexible that uh, anybody should be able to use it. Okay. As long as you have a computer mm -hmm. and as long as you have internet. Mm. And we are not saying only people with computers, you can have your mm. phone. Uh, you should be able to file a case. And that's the, the, the direction we are moving. We want to make it easier mm. to access justice okay. for our citizens. Um, that said, um, I look at the, imagine I'm, I'm, I'm filing a case at around 9 p.m. Um, I got my entire documentation at 9 p.m. And here I am, I'm putting in all my, 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 my initials and documentation, whatever, I'm uploading all that. Right. Um, when do I get the notification back that it has been received or possibly it failed and it bounced back to me? Does it bring all these notifications back to me? So that I can go to sleep and I know I filed my case. I wake up with an email telling me of either positive or what could be the next step. It's, 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 it's automatic. Mm. Once <coughs> you file it, give you a notification that your case has been filed. Mm. And as long as you have uh, ensured that you have done all the, uh, the requirements. For example, mm. you need to pay mm. for, for the court fees. Mm. And that is online. Still at, at 9 p.m. I okay. can still pay online. Using mobile money, uh, using... Have, have, you, have you used the uh, mobile money? Yes, I have. Do you know that when you send money to so-and-so, mm. it notifies you that you have spent, you have said 100,000 so-and-so? Yes. This will be the same case. It will be the same yes. case. Yeah. Well, this, this makes it much more easy. But now, <coughs> the juxtaposition, I love the fact of the mobile money. Does it only restrict to mobile money or to other debit cards or visa cards? For a Ugandan who is not here, but is following his or her case that is in the country and possibly is filing from Kuala Lumpur or Japan and, and he wants to make sure that this reaches on ground. Payments are uh, online, uh, the, the access, I've mentioned mobile money because mm. it's common in Of Uganda. course, it's... But that's there, the, the there are the other, uh, the other avenues, mm. uh, uh, the visa cards are there, even bank to bank, mm. if you want to, if, if, if you want to still do... Uh, EFT, you can still do the same. Okay. So it, it gives you that flexibility to do that on the comfort. Okay. When you're still on the same screen, mm. I make a payment and then move to the next and submit. Well, I, I, I want to understand, is it linked to other institutions, Mr. Pius? Is this system linked to other systems or other institutions of, of uh, like the DPP or, or, or WACS with, with, with this to make sure that there is harmony in, in sync of information flow? Actually, <laughs> our strategy mm. is to first have our courts mm -hmm. operational. And you know, in the, the gyro system, mm. we've got police, we've got uh, prisons, mm. 
we've got DPP and ourselves. Yeah. The investigation mm. should talk to the DPP. DPP should talk to the judiciary. Mm. Judiciary should talk to the prisoners. Mm. Why? Because we are in the same business. Mm. The left eye should see what the right eye is seeing. That is at the gyros level. Mm. But we want also to have linkage with other uh, institutions, mm -hmm. NIRA, mm. uh, the transport system, mm. so that we, we are really on the same page. Mm. So yes, in the long run, mm. but in the short term, we are trying to see how we can have our courts online. Then we link up with the others. I love that. I looked at the possibility of, um, they say, Andrew, you've been released on bail, but you leave your passport here and you're not allowed to, to travel. So that means Minister of Immigration will be notified in turn affairs that this passport cannot exit the country. So this person is going to stay. Um, let's talk about the gadgets. Do the judicial officers have these gadgets nationwide? And have they been trained enough? Are they undergoing a particular training, Julian, here, so that they can understand how to use this system? Or We can look at it in uh, probably two aspects. Mm. Um, infrastructure readiness of okay. judiciary, mm. which you're talking about, the mm. PCs, mm. the connectivity. Yeah. That is, 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 uh, has already been done. At least we are sure that most of our judicial officers have mm. computers, mm. all of them. Mm. And we are still trying to ensure even all the other staff mm. uh, in, the, in the courtrooms have uh, computers to be mm. able to, to, to use the system. Okay. Now, still on infrastructure, <coughs> we're looking at connectivity. Yep. Or probably something that may come up, but we want to make sure that the courts are all connected, they have internet. Okay. Now, the other aspect uh -huh. is, uh, are they trained? Are they aware? Yeah. Now, these, like uh, 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 Pius, uh, PS has mentioned, mm. we have an extensive change management program that we have uh, initiated that uh -huh. has started. So we, we are definitely going to do a lot of training, continuous training, uh -huh. both internally and the public. Mm. Because now the public is not going to start talking to the judiciary. Oh, yes. Yeah. So they also need to know mm. so that they're not uh, conned, they're not given false information. Mm. So there will be two aspects into that uh, bit of awareness and change do we, management. Do, do we have the checks on your side that uh, whoever is um, uh, filing a complaint or something is telling the truth? Because there are those possibilities mm. where I'm going to file, but when the evidence I'm giving is just favoring me. Do we have uh, those checks on that side? Well, the, the, the checks are, w what we, 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 we are planning to do, mm. ensuring is that, yes, there will be some quality checks being done yes. by the, 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 the staff. Mm. So, yes, it doesn't mean that when we tell you you file, mm. and instead of filing a, uh, a land title, mm. I file uh, some agreement talking about something else, yeah. and you still continue, no. There will be some checks in the okay. process. Mm. I want to make sure that the, the, what is being filed is actually mm. the right thing that needs to be filed. Wow. And also to, mm. to actually, mm. even <coughs> filing, to confirm mm. that you have filed in the right court, you might be having... That was my next question. Like, <laughs> how do I know? Because it could be a civil issue <laughs> yes. and I'm right. filing in a commercial court. Right. So, uh, Pius, you could, you could in indulge us on that. Do, does this interface uh, show me that this is a civil, uh, this is civil court, uh, this is commercial court, this is uh, Supreme Court? C can it show me the different courts I'm going to? Definitely, definitely. Okay. It even uh, allows you to be able to, to, which division are you going to, uh -huh. and so on. Yes, it allows you to, you can decide to, I want to file in Gulu. Mm. In Gulu <laughs> because that's where High the discipline is. That's where is. they, yes, yes, I can decide to do that. So. All that will be available wow. in front of you. Well, um, that is a conversation we're having. It's about uh, the new um, technological advancement under the judiciary. The pictures you just saw, uh, that is part of the entire system, but that is part of the judiciary where we have transmission of uh, judgments where people are in prison. And uh, we saw Bobby Wine there. We saw uh, General Tumukunde. We saw um, the likes of uh, Stella Nyanzi. But please note, that is part of uh, 
the judiciary's ICT strategy to make sure that by the period of a 20, uh, between 15 and 2020, uh, there's been a guiding development and innovation in the various systems, uh, the video conference system, which is the one you've actually just seen there. Mr. Abijimana, um, uh, Bijirimana, due to the pandemic, judiciary came up with a lot of guidelines on how to use the ICT and all these. But I need to understand from, from a layman's understanding, what, are, what kind of deliverables should Ugandans expect on, on a whole, especially the investors and uh, the Wanayinchi with regards to the land issue? Because land is the most contentious issue. Every day we run at least two or three stories with regards to land. What are the deliverables from this kind of system? Um, I would like, first of all, to inform the viewers mm. that contrary to what people think mm. that the judiciary is a concept, is, is a, a consumer, is a consumer yes. of public funds. A heavy consumer, because that's <laughs> how they say. I want to disagree. <coughs> mm. On I, grounds of? And state that mm. actually judiciary mm. He is a producer, can, has got the potential mm. to contribute to the economic development of this country. In How? Mm. You know, if you've got cases, land cases, for mm. example, mm. in the court, mm. and they are not being sorted out, mm. if you have got civil cases, you've got cases to do with the family, mm. You've got cases to do uh, with uh, uh, agriculture. Mm. Construction of public institutions mm. has been affected in the past. You have heard about roads, for example. The being affected by the <laughs> railway as well was frustrated. Uh -huh. Compensation got into play. Family issues of we're not selling the land, but uncle is selling the land. Yes, mm. you've got businesses that have come to a halt mm. because of conflicts. Mm. This is system is going to help us to unlock those Those's businesses, mm. those land transactions that have stored. How? By making sure that this is done efficiently, mm. very fast, mm -hmm. and that will liberate some economies that are stuck. So, mm. in short, the system is going to help mm. to the economic development of this country because the delays in everything to the cases will be minimized. Mm. The backlog that has been <coughs> in place will be sorted out. Mm. Uh, for me, I'm looking at the future of this country and as far as Russia is concerned, mm. very, very positively. Okay. Andrew, mm. uh, j just to, to uh, add mm. on the bit from the government perspective, mm. this system will definitely also help the government in terms of uh, being ranked uh, in ease of doing business okay. when the World Bank is trying to, to do those oh statistics. Yes, the rankings. Once this system is uh, implemented, mm. Uganda will have a difference in that ranking. We'll see some increase in that ranking. <coughs> in, in so. And bringing the investor confidence. Mm. The investors outside there will say, oh, so in Uganda we can invest. Mm. If we invest and there are disputes, Mm. The disputes can be handled efficiently. That you, will you increase. can follow. You can follow the case if you're an investor and you're not in the country. Yes. You can equally follow it online on the other side. Yeah. Well, um, what becomes of areas that are not covered by internet? Yet there are courts there. I'll give you an example of like a beam district. I've been to a beam district, and they have to tell you you need to go to a particular spot to get the network. We even send news back here at NTV or any other places. You have those areas that have black spots. So what becomes of those areas? We definitely are aware that uh, we there is limitation in, in the internet connectivity. Co connectivity. Mm. Uh, NITA Uganda is trying to do an aggressive program to ensure that we are covered. Mm. They are working on that and we are working with them c very closely. Mm. And they have covered most of the areas, but yes, there mm. are areas that do not have. However, if somebody uh, is not able to access, mm. the nearest court mm. will definitely have internet they okay. can go mm. to to that court and be able to be serviced now that is th that is very interesting julian if i come if i don't have internet but i know how to use the system if i go to the court there will be an area where i can go and i i upload everything i i, I file my everything and i move 
we we are setting up uh, sort of like a, uh, want to call it a kiosk, but we can use another word for mm. it. People can still go. Mm. I mean, uh, back in the days, we used to call them internet cafes, uh, where you would go and uh, and you upload the document uh, and all. Yeah, but this one will be in the courtroom. Yes, you'll still go to the courtroom mm. and you'll be able to file. You, oh, if oh. if for 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 the people you're talking about mm. who yes, I have the knowledge, I have uh, the computer, yes. but I don't have internet. Internet, yes. We are working with the government, uh, other government uh, entities. Mm. For example, public services trying to, to, to have service centers mm. all over the country. Mm. People can go there and utilize the centers. Mm. Assuming I don't have even a computer, you can mm. go and sit there and file a case in those service centers. Okay. And they're being powered by the connectivity that mm. NIT is providing the entire country. Okay. Okay. By the way, mm. uh, you know, when I was in the Minister of, of Gender, mm. We had started programs mm. for the youth up country. Mm. And uh, we are also thinking of how to create jobs for the youth yes. by interesting them in opening up mm. those centers. Like you go and send money, uh, mm. mobile money. Mm. We are trying to think of how these young people mm. can be interested in doing that business mm. and give them some knowledge so mm. that. An old woman somewhere down in there, mm. in, in Kotido, mm. uh, doesn't have to come to town to go to the, that kiosk yeah. and say, Mwana mm. you help me to do ABCD. Mm. And, uh, and it the goes. Federal files. Okay. It, it, it may cost a little money, but uh, both parties will benefit because yeah. the, the person who is filing will be benefited by having the case filed. File, yeah. But the young person who is uh, uh, doing the, will get some little money. Well, so um, I think about it. And so those are, those are good innovation hubs you can possibly have within the areas. Mm -hmm. I want to know, how do I participate? Okay, I filed my case. It went through. So how do I participate? You are there. <laughs> you have, first of all, you have to log in. Mm. The moment uh -huh. you log in, you are online. Okay. So you, you, you follow. Okay. You follow and know the, the status of, of your case. Mm. By the way, something that we did not talk about is that these cases, as you find them, mm. one of the advantages is that uh, there will be automatic allocation okay. of cases. Mm. Not like in the past where maybe a registrar is, uh, mm. uh, is a friend or a smile is... Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> and, and, you, and you're pardoned. <laughs> well, um, we have a new technology called Zoom. When my case is going to be done, um, I want to know, is the scheduling and management of the online hearing done internally uh, by the electronic system where they send me a notification that Mr. Chamagero, at this time, your case will be listened so, so that I can join in via the system and I, I listen to, to, to the ruling and all. Just to separate just a little bit, mm. um, it's still uh, part of judiciary to have uh, the 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 Zoom and the mm. video conferencing, because they're all video conferencing. Oh yes, yeah. uh, that will be possible. We'll, mm. we'll definitely have a way of how to integrate the mm. video conferencing solution that <coughs> could be a Zoom, mm. that <coughs> could be uh, the solution that we already have mm. with this uh, system. Mm -hmm. What will happen is that you file a case, mm. and uh, it is registered and you're given a notification that your case has been registered. Mm. The ne next notification you receive by the own mail and also on SMS nice. is that your, SMS. your, your, your case has been, has been <coughs> uh, scheduled on this date. Mm. You can still go on the mm. system in your profile mm. and be able to see. Mm. You'll be able to see who has it been allocated to mm. and where is it going to be heard from, which mm. courtroom which courtroom number which and what time on so what you know date. where to go you know where to go okay. you do not need to come to the court to ask yeah. where is my case what is happening to my case uh -huh. that is uh, will be history you okay. just use your phone regardless on and regardless whether you have a smartphone oh or no. a feature phone okay we have provisions for the feature phones to use mm. USSD yes basic information mm. where is my case Who's handling my case? Uh -huh. What is the status? And you get that information. You get that information. Wow, that is nice. Uh, Mr. Rijimana, what is the future? Where do you see, what are the future plans of all these 
um, the, when you look at it from a, from a broad perspective, when all this is in play, what do you see ahead? <laughs> I, I see everything becoming very easy mm. and good for the citizens and the oral court users. Mm. First, it's going to help us mm. to have information mm -hmm. processed very fast. In real time. Real time. Mm. Secondly, we shall have the monitoring and evaluation mm. uh, in place, look at the performance, easy to assess performance, mm. and be able to take decisions based on informed sources. Mm. So that's why I say that for me, two years down the road, mm. you will be seeing what is happening in the judiciary. It will be a different story. Okay. It will be, I think, a judiciary that is serving the people of this country, delivering justice in yeah. real time. In real time. Mm. Well, that's a conversation we're still having. It's entirely about uh, the ECCMIS system currently underway. Join this conversation on Twitter and, of course, uh, with, the, uh, with, the, with the hand of NTV. We'll take a break briefly and we'll be back shortly. Keep it here. TV. I'm Andrew Chamagrand with me on said I have uh, Julian, a technical advisor from the judiciary and of course uh, the permanent secretary uh, who happens to be Mr. Percy Jumana. Now we're talking about what we call the electronic court case management information system that's going to make filing of cases easier where you can file a case at the comfort of your home, you know when, who is handling your case, what division and all that. Now Back to this conversation, Mr. Rijimana, how much did this system cost the taxpayer? Um, I signed the contract. Mm. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> and, and it's my duty to sign. Oh, okay, so yes, I, yes. <laughs> because you're the accounting officer. Yes. Of course. I signed a contract <laughs> of $2.5 million. $2.5 million. And uh, the contract was signed in September last year. Mm. We have had a series of activities taking place. Mm. Uh, the contractor, the consultant had to produce an inception report. Mm -hmm. The inception report is to tell us uh, whether the consultant understands the business is going to do. Mm. We signed a contract with Synergy International. Mm -hmm. It is uh, a US based um, company, mm. but with its uh, uh, headquarter in uh, Yerevan. Mm -hmm. You know where Yerevan is? Yes, I do. Where is it? It's in the U.S. still. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yerevan is in the U.S. No. Yeah. Armenia. Armenia. Oh dear. Armenia <laughs> is one of that those. That is Eastern uh, Bloc. Yes. Yes. That's oh. where the headquarter is, but they are based in the Virginia, United States. Okay. Uh, so the training or the manpower. So did we get the team work. from here that went for training that side to to uh, to the, upgrade themselves? The consultant came okay. to sign the contract, mm. and my team went. I read the team actually okay. myself. Wow, can we go get That's inclusion. Yeah, because mm. you see, I didn't want to be told the stories. I wanted to know wow. what is happening. I'm impressed. We have always known. We have always had in the news that someone just signed off something and uh, they didn't know what was coming, where it was coming from. You were involved, you traveled with the team. I, tr I went with her, mm. <laughs> with another gentleman, okay. and we went, we were there for a whole week. Mm. Study the system, how mm. does it work? Mm. Then after that, when we came back, there was now assessing mm. the courts. They came, mm. they came from here, and came here, assess how mm. the courts are, what are the needs. Mm. After assessing the needs, they went into now a development. Okay. of the system uh, and there has been a lot of interaction between the consultant mm. and our courts mm. judicial officers 
and all those support staff. Mm. So that it is our business. You know, a consultant, it does work for you. But at the end of the day, it comes you back are to the you owner. To execute it. So for us, we must make sure that the consultant gives us what we want. Mm. Domesticate it. Oh, yeah. I know they have done it in other countries. Mm. But for us, we want our own a Ugandan... Customized to a Ugandan uh -huh. standard. Yes. Okay. So we are on the stage of... Uh, of preparing for the, ro the, ro the, the pilot. Mm. I told you in no November we shall be piloting okay. in 19 courts, Wakiso, Entebbe, mm. and Kampara. So of course, with the uh, Court of Appeals, uh, Supreme Court, mm. we shall start with those. Mm. Then we move. As we prepare these 19 courts, mm. we shall be reaching out to the other courts mm -hmm. to tell you that I was in the Bundi Bujo yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. <laughs> Yes, I never to one. I was in Kamwenge. You, you're trying to, 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 yeah, to touch base to see to touch what, base is what is happening. Mm. Yes, I was in Rwebi Sengo. Mm. I was in Rwimi. I was mm. in Chitagwenda. Wow. I was in Pugamwanja. Uh, mm. I was, I was in, you know where Antoroko is? Yes, I know Antoroko. At the tip is. of Lake uh, Albert. Yes. I was there. So this week I've been on the ground. Trying to see where it's going to happen. Yes, we don't <coughs> want to be told stories. Mm. So that uh, we even know mm. where there is a gap, mm. internet gap, yeah. and be able to come in to support. Mm. Where NITA does not reach or where it fails, we can also see how to improvise. Okay. So mm. there you are. Mm. Wow, that is quite a big one. Those are some of the quotes you see on the screen. That's we, the ones we have in Uganda. So all that information will be on that platform. When you go on the electronic uh, case management, uh, uh, it's more like a portal. You'll have all this in one bleak and you'll take that. Julie, uh, try to tell, take me through. The ICT awareness in Uganda is still below the threshold, the way we could possibly want it, we expect it. Since the system is tech, aren't we risking leaving out some people? The one I inchi. Definitely, we are aware that uh, most of our uh, people are illiterate. Mm -hmm. And they're the biggest number of people that walk into the courts. Mm. We are going to create as much awareness as we can okay. during the process. Even mm. after the rollout, we'll continue. It's going to be a continuous uh, process. Okay. But we are setting up. Um, within the courts, mm. they will be supported, they will be helped. Mm. That is one thing. And still continue doing the trainings in mm. gatherings, in, in the different groups, in the different uh, areas. But that continuous training is going to be uh, rolled up. That awareness, mm. it doesn't mean that even if I do not know how to read, I want to be able to file a case. Mm. They will be able to file cases. They will be supported within mm. the courts. Okay. Um, and... Uh, we'll try and create as much uh, trainings as we can to the public. Um, talking about the languages, what languages do we have here? Because Google of Lead gives us a multitude of languages to use. Um, I'm looking at someone who, who knows how the system works, but is not well acquainted with English, but possibly they know Swahili, and uh, maybe they know Runyachitara, or they know Kumam. What languages are we looking at here? especially because he said that it's going to be customized mm -hmm. for the Ugandan market. Yes. We are still going to use English okay. because currently in the justice system we are mm. using English. Mm. But of course we are supported with the, uh, with the support staff oh you yeah. know, whenever they come in. If you don't know, they can interpret for mm. you. But for now it's still English. Mm. Maybe it's something that uh, will be looked into in the future, mm. but it's, it's, it's English. English. By the way, mm. uh, to put on the, the public mm. on notice mm. that this is the beginning. Okay. We are going to continue to interface with the public. Those who may not have the opportunity to ask questions now, keep questions for the future. Mm. Don't get tired of us. Oh, yes. We shall be here okay. to make sure that the Ugandans understand this system. Okay. Um, Mr. Bijimana, indulge us on how best this is going to help on the backlog of cases. Last year, by the time we closed the judiciary, uh, the backlog was so heavy with this system coming in. Are all those cases that are still underway, that were already registered, are they going to be on the system that now I can go and now follow up my case? 
we are uh, trying to verify all this information to yeah. make sure that we don't upload uh, fake <laughs> information. Yeah. You know, there has been, uh, as we try to analyze, mm. you find some cases actually are duplicated in uh, some courts. In different courts. Different uh -huh. courts. So mm. we are trying to, to, to clean up the okay. data. Mm. So that by the time we go on uh, ECMIS, mm. we have got the real cases that should be had. And uh, this is not going to be the, the miracle maker for mm. everything. No. We also mm. need more judges. Okay. We need more judges. <coughs> we need more magistrates mm. uh, in the place. Mm. Because it's not enough to have a uh, case backlog, uh, uh, you know, determined. Mm. And you don't have judges to listen to cases. Mm. So in the same vein, we are requesting that uh, we get more judges mm -hmm. and with the coming into force of this new law, mm. you heard about the administration of the Judicial uh, Act. Mm. It really gives us some uh, opportunity to get more uh, judges and magistrates in the court. But I can see the case backlog reducing mm. because of the efficiencies <coughs> which I have, uh, I've talked about. Case backlogs mm. is because the judges don't uh, listen to the cases because there are very few yeah. and they continue heaping. But with efficiency, we shall be able to clear a number of case backlogs mm -hmm. and also attend to new ones very fast because In of the time. system. Yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> Julian, I need to know, if I file my case today and I'm notified that my case was received, how long does it take for the court to get back to me. That Andrew, uh, your case will be on this day. And is, is this determinant of the judge going through the case and all, and then they can get back to me? The, the time, of course, is also dependent on other factors. Yeah. You might file and still you, you're missing out certain things that you're supposed to file. Okay. If everything is, goes on well, mm. you should get the notification immediately that you're you are actually given automatically a case number as mm. long as all that you filed mm. is correct and there's nothing missing. You have all that needs to be done mm. is done. You'll be given a case number automatically. Mm. Now, once that is done, uh, within the internal processes, mm. processes, it should not take uh, uh, many days okay. for you to get feedback because mm. what happens, they have to... The quality check we're talking about, yeah. the quality the check quality will be check. Uh, immediate mm. to be able to, to see what is in there. If everything goes on, well then mm. the, the cases are located there immediately. Mm. Uh, because we haven't uh, started, mm. it's a bit uh, difficult <laughs> to, to, to actually say it takes mm. this long. Mm. But definitely, definitely from the places that have implemented such a system, mm. the time has reduced drastically to probably like 60 to 70 percent. Wow. That's a great conversation. Mr. Bijimana, do you think this system in place, it's going to reaffirm the trust Ugandans have in the judicial system? Sure. If I have got a case, mm. it, it will even reduce by the own some cases of like domestic violence mm. where people have been having family disputes yeah. and the take longer to be hard. Mm. If these cases are hard very quickly, and certainly the public will have more confidence in the judiciary. Mm. Our interest as citizens is to have adjudication done very fast. Okay. It's so painful to have a case in the court for 10 years, for seven years, for six years. 20 years. For, <laughs> for even 20 years, I'm yeah. told there are cases, yeah, of, 20 the cases years. of 20 years. It's actually shameful. It's, it's, mm. it's unbelievable. But if we have the system in place and we have the cases being sorted out mm. very fast, people have co confidence mm. uh, in, in the judiciary. Talking about corruption, the judiciary um, is one of those, according to some reports, that was always highlighted that. Uh, for you to get bail, for you to get uh, justice, you have to pay and all that. How do you see this system beating corruption hands down? You know, in the past, the fighters have been uh, disappearing. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and someone is held in the prison because the fire yes. is missing. Fire has disappeared. Mm. The papers can't be seen. They are thrown. 
Mm. So you have to bring a, some evidence is missing. You have to bring a, a stone to put on the first side; it doesn't fry. Now this time around, you go. Mm. You want your case hard. Mm. The file is not there. Actually, when it is there, mm. but somebody is trying to say, please, mm. you bust the oil. Yes, the, w the the legs that are going to look for this file. Uh -huh. So now mm. we are saying, you know, fighting corruption is uh, got so many ways. Mm. Uh, fighting corruption is uh, not fighting with people every day. Mm. You must also be, uh, devise means and ways mm. of making it very difficult for people to get corrupt. Okay. Uh, and this is one of them. Uh, making it very difficult for the people to become corrupt. And making it unattractive. To the ones who would have wanted to corrupt. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Of course, some of us will not be popular, mm. but uh, po leadership is not a popularity contest. Yes. No. It's delivery. It's to take mm. decisions even in the face of hostility. Mm. Like uh, this lady is telling you, mm. uh, I don't know, it, it, may, it will certainly reduce mm. corruption, but it may not eliminate it 100%. Okay. But those who will not be, who, who will continue to dodge mm. which i find another way of getting them mm. so corruption in the judiciary must be dealt with decisively okay andrew mm. to 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 talk about that bit mm. the system um security is one of those aspects that are very key mm. on this system that is where i was going because the issues of cyber law can someone hack into it and you know just change all these I need to know how the firewall is strong on the other side that I'm protected with all my evidence I'm giving to the court on system. Uh, security is one of those key features in the system and it's one of those that we emphasized a lot when we are uh, presenting our specifications. Mm. And we are working very closely with NITA Uganda okay. to ensure they do <coughs> a lot of that assessment and that audit and trying to break into mm. and make sure that everything is covered. Mm -hmm. So before it goes to the public, mm. we'll ensure that that is done at a certain level, okay. at a, a very, very, very high level. Mm. Now, it doesn't mean that people won't try to hack. Yeah. Even the biggest uh, companies yeah, in the tried. world, they have always Even tried. And some, and some yeah. have succeeded. <coughs> mm. IFMS, you know mm. what happened? IMF, yes, it you was. You know, was in the office, yes. there was uh, hacking yes. in. Through a printer. <laughs> through a mm. uh, system. Mm. But I think, uh, Julian, yes. let me tell you. Yesterday, before I came to mm. Kampara, I was uh, delivering a, a paper mm. in Changwazi. Yesterday I did a lot of movement. And you were delivering a paper? Yes. P.S. You're such a ground man. <laughs> <laughs> I was delivering a paper in Chiangkwanzi <coughs> mm. on, on leadership, mm. integrity, transparency, and corruption. Okay. And as I was concluding, I said this, mm. that corruption is a moral issue. Mm. It starts with the men. It starts mm. with the morals mm. of our people. Mm. People's morals being corrupted. Mm. So we need sanitizers to oh, cleanse the morals the morals <laughs> of Ugandans. <laughs> okay and this should start from homes mm. children to be uh, uh, taught by their parents mm. that it is wrong to do everything in schools mm. in the communities mm. and if these the patriotic patriotic clubs in yes, which in are in, in schools and tertiary institutions yes. Really we have to, because even these machines, <coughs> garbage in, garbage uh, out. Mm. If people behind these computers mm. are morally deficient, they will, they will find a way of, uh, of beating the system. Yeah. Beating the system. Mm. Right. So we need morals. That's right. That's right. Moral rehabilitation. Mm. And we shall continue to talk about these things. Mm. So yesterday I was addressing more than 300 people. Mm. About yeah, the same issue. Yeah, yes. Young men and women. Mm of the Uganda Revenue Authority because uh, there is a new... It's a new breed. Breed. Yeah. Mm. So I was trying to... To bring them. them to speed. Yes. Wow. So we need many more of those mm. in the judiciary. And I will not hesitate to have arrangements to have these people taken for Through the, the same uh, course. Mm. It, it doesn't <coughs> have to be Changwans, it can be civil service college, it can mm. be another. But uh, we need really to talk to these young people. The, the, the advantage with the system mm. 
mm. uh, just for the public to have some, some level of comfort, mm. is that whatever you do in the system is recorded. So there is a digital footprint. Yes. When you log in on this day, you uploaded A, B, C, D, E, and you, we get you this info. So someone can trail their trail. behavior. Oh. If the people mm. he's talking about mm. try to still do something, on my side, I still see it. In the back end, okay. for example, mm. we will be able to know who did what, at what time, okay. and when, and what did they do. Okay. That is in the system. It's being logged mm. every minute, second. And it should be done promptly. Real time. Because Real time. you see, in the case of uh, integrated financial management system, mm. in the prime minister's office and so on, mm. of course there was, some, there was a systems administrator. Mm. They were there. But, but, they, but they were the ones who were doing it. You get it? Morals. The, but <coughs> it, it took time mm. for people to actually to see, it. to see that it was being done. So what he's talking about is that this should be immediate. A lot. When yeah. there are uh, hacking, mm. when there is uh, interference, should uh, signal you immediately mm. that somebody is tampering with it and just close. Okay. So it closes immediately. Yes. Wow. That's a conversation we are having. We want to thank those of you who are part of this conversation. Uh, a lot is happening, and uh, we, we, we have gotten to understand from Mr. Pass Bijimana that judiciary, they are not the biggest consumers. They are actually adding more to the economy. Um, Julian, while we are winding up, um, to a lay man Ugandan, a lay Ugandan, what should they expect? What should be the expectations on a whole? Easy access to justice, mm. Mm. easy access to information, easy, everything will be on their fingertips. Mm. This is what the people should expect. Mm. There should be a um, uh, time aspect to it. Mm. The time you spend going to file a case, the time you, you spend walking, traveling will be minimized as much as possible mm. so there is a lot I, I would want to summarize it as uh, easy access mm. to justice to justice <coughs> mr Rigimano, before you go there is something i i, I want to, i want to to a little bit uh, fall back on it under what law is this going to run you know ugandans will always follow the law they said but this system is in place but under what law are we having this common shit in play well, we have got the, 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 the meter. The, mm. the cyber laws. The, 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 the ICT laws, mm. that's there right. Are, there's the ICT laws, okay. which is all embracing. Mm. And this is a, um, a program that mm. is derived with authority from that law. Okay. So it's not, it's not outside. It falls within Yeah, this. it falls within. Mm. Uh, the tools that are going to be used, um, we have the laptops, the gadgets and all, smartphones and all, maybe just to go a little bit onto the digital platforms and see uh, what some Ugandans are asking with regards to this particular program. Uh, I'm sure, Mr. Bijimana, you are aware of Twitter and how it works. Um, someone here is asking that, uh, okay, this is Gerard Kadu, says, uh, that's a very good, uh, that's a very good initiative from the government. We want to thank them. However, does my court understand how all this is running and when I go, won't they ask for money to help me if I need help? The attendants, you say that the courts. Mm -hmm. um, there is another one coming in from this one calls himself Governor Bugembe. He says, kudos to, the, to this in new initiative that has come through. So how do we stay in touch when we are not in the country but our cases have are still in court um, how do we get back uh, how do we get this information and how do we communicate back in case we need it um, th the last one coming in from Sissy says that in case I'm not in the country but I'm meant to appear in court but I'm not in position to can I attend court via teleconferencing and I give my side of, of, of the story so oh. those are the three questions one from Nansana, I say that uh, when he goes to court, like you said, that there will be help to the court. Right. Won't these people still ask for money because it's fighting corruption? But here I come and they say we have a new way of filing. 
but this new filing, uh, you need to give me like 20K. I filed for you. And so he's wondering how safe are they with regards to that? <coughs> we, you, you can't rule out some of those. Mm. Th that's for sure. Mm. We are going to do a lot of monitoring when this system is going mm. to be rolled out. Mm. That even the places or stations or the staff that mm. are going to be helping mm. uh, are not going to be like the, the goods of, of those stations. Okay. They, they will be we'll always on rotation. Have to, on rotation. Okay. We'll find ways. But there will mm. be a lot of monitoring mm. to be done. We, we may not rule it out, but mm. we'll have to ensure that uh, that doesn't happen. And in future with the time, mm. even the, the, the Wanainchi Nasan, mm. he probably has a friend or a relative or somebody who mm. could have access mm. or could uh, is, is, is has access or mm. information or knowledgeable in using a computer. Because mm. it's going to be a, a simple thing. Mm. They can do it for them. Okay. They don't have to come to court. Mm. With time. People yeah. may even find it easier to do it at their, to comfort. Do it at their mm. comfort or somewhere with a friend mm. or with a relative or somebody mm. without even coming to court. Okay. Um, the other person, Mr. Bridgemana, the one who said, I have a court case running in the country, but I have to travel. And while I'm there, I get notification that I should appear in court, but I'm not there. Does it give me um does the system allow me now to teleconference and i talk to 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 the court um as and when it is in session you know we are we are a <coughs> we are actually introducing a number of a number of platforms mm. <coughs> you have heard about teleconferencing yes right where prisoners in Rosera need mm. not come to we court. We saw Bobby Wine, we saw Tumukunde, yeah. we saw Stella Nyanzi. You are going to see many more. <laughs> because yeah. I have, uh, we have, this year, mm. we're going to connect uh, some circuits, like mm. Arua, mm. like Mbarara, mm. like Masaka, like Guru. Mm. We are going to have that those facilities in place. Mm. We, we have budget for that. We shall have them. Mm. So that coming to court should be a matter of choice. Okay. Now, but if you want to, if you are the first, it's your first time, mm. you have to register okay. on the ECME system. Okay. So that you can now enter. Mm. You register, after you have registered, you log in mm -hmm. on the ECMIS, mm. then you follow. The prompts. The prompts. Mm. Every time we want to know how far you have gone mm. with your case. Every time you want to know which judge is handling the case. Mm. Time you know when you are supposed to appear mm. on that thing you are talking about. Mm. You will be Telecom notified. Or Zoom. Yeah, so mm. if, whether you are out of the country or not, you should be able to access. Okay, I hope the judge's number is not on the interface. So just know that <laughs> it's Judge Julian handling my case. The number is not there. Because if the exactly. number is there, I'm, I'm worried again. <laughs> Someone could call the judge and say, by the way, that Yamagiro case, you need to, you know, uh, I'm grateful for that. So wrapping this up, um, what could be your last word to Ugandans, Mr. Bijimana? Ugandans, I want to assure you that this system that is being introduced mm. is good for the people of Uganda. Mm. It is good for the investors. It's good for the courts themselves. Mm -hmm. And it's good for those people working in the courts. It's good for policy planners like us. Because this system is going to help us even to allocate resources uh, properly. Adequately, yeah. Because you see, when you have got information coming in, mm. you process the information. You distribute that information. Mm. You use it for planning. You're good to go. Oh, yeah. Well. There you have it. That brings us to the end of our conversation today. Julian, do you have a, word to, a one or two to drop to the viewers as you're winding up? Uh, maybe just to say as uh, judiciary is yeah. moving in that direction, mm. we also would like the public to prepare mm. uh, in that all our stakeholders, okay. especially the, the advocates. Yeah. We are moving in that direction. We want to move with them. Okay. So they need also to prepare and also the citizen to support us when the system mm. uh, is uh, rolled out. Okay. Let them use it. Okay. Yeah. The same applies to the media, so that awareness is given at the same level. 
Well, that brings us to the end of the conversation of the system, what is called the Electronic Court Case Management Information System. Maybe the takeaway is if you just join the conversation while we're winding up this, a filing can be done 24-7, so there is no time limit. It minimizes on human interactions with court staff, which have created avenues for corruption. Like Mr. Pass Bridgemana said, this is going to be much, much more easy. Then easy access to information about your case using your phone, your computer, or your tablet. It's going to be much easier. Quick settlement of disputes will help in access of justice. And on the other side, percentage of people coming to court uh, just for inquiries will be minimized because times it gets too clogged up there. Then increasing citizen trust in the justice system. So you and I should get ready for this. It's going to be rolled out in November this year. Uh, that's when we are hoping to start. It's starting with 19 courts of law in this country. And as and when it's rolled out, you'll get to know and you'll get to know how you can actually uh, get on this system. You get your profile, you log in, you understand that this is my profile. You can always use your profile to file and have everything you want the justice system to help you. So no one can log into your profile because you have the password to your profile. That's the beauty about it. That brings us to the end of this conversation. I'm Andrew Chamagir. Until next time, keep watching NTV.